Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome to another episode of Ninja Voltage. And the time has officially ended, and we have the new update with us. So, yeah, as usual, they have given us three Shinobites. And uh, let's check out the update details. Uh, some kind of chief fall festival underway. Okay, Rin, uh, Rin, someone are here. Round up mission. Yeah, limited limited time achievements are here. Login bonus, cool. And five star guaranteed. This this is a trap. So, Rin Wara hero fragments added to the special shop. Okay, Daru hero hero fragments to fortress metal shop. Added to the hero summon. Okay. So yeah, these were the update overview so round of mission is here and we have uh, this time enemy as war toby or they are calling it madara uchiha toby okay so and they have also uh, the campaign on facebook is going on that if you play if we all together play the round of mission for i think 500,000 times then we will get 50 shinobites so that's cool uh this time they are calling it broken mask last time it was golden canopy scroll after previous to that was i think uh sharingan stickers so yeah pretty much the same thing a ninja tool so this time it's uh, hp 3000 attack 730 defense 730 and mt2 slots and impact nature is 12 percent increase so yeah probably this time release and impact are going to be featured uh, probably one more okay round of mission four star or higher uh, but the drop rate has not been updated it's still kabuto and this time the special shinobi score for round of mission are these four of course Rin Nohara, Darui, Naruto Uzumaki 7th Hokage and Sasuke Uchiha Wandering Ninja so if you have any of these characters ultimate uh, you can do just fine I have already made a video uh, you can check it out uh, if you have Sasuke, Wandering Ninja, new ultimate, it is impact in nature, that's the best option. Or also you have Darui's old ultimate, which uh, ignores nature resistance, that is the second best option. And also you have Naruto's Maki, new ultimate, that is also impact nature. And if you've already summoned on Rin and got her ultimate, then you are good to go. So yeah, probably use these four in your team and you are good to go and you will get 1890, what are they calling? broken masks yeah okay pick up someone yeah okay so pretty basic just keep on playing the roundup mission and collect uh, the broken masks and then purchase stuff like hero fragments and ninja tool and other things in the point shop also a login bonus is going on so to apply 5 plus 3 8 8 something tickets as well as uh, 25 shinobites on the third day okay cool chiefs fall festival limited time only chiefs fall festival underway we are holding three big events during the period okay part one is voltage summon is free every okay okay so remember the voltage summon was free every five days but now you can summon uh, every day for 30 days i guess yes from starting from today till 31st of october so that's 30 days for you so 30 free summonings maybe if we are lucky maybe at least we can get uh, one ultimate from 30 summons hopefully part two is attack mission solo battle uh rewards are doubled okay rio chakra and fortress medals are doubled if you play solo mission during this period okay cool and okay remo reward bonus time there is also a bonus time 21 to 23 utc and in 9 to 11 utc what is this okay so keep in mind this is the time if you want to play the attack mission okay that's pretty crazy okay now second third part is uh daily achievement re rewards have been doubled okay so i think in the daily achievements we were getting one one three so total of five shinobards and maybe we will get 10 from now on i haven't checked i already accepted the rewards i didn't count i think we are getting 10 shinobards daily so for 30 days 
10 shinoverts and 300 shinoverts. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I think uh, it not be it should not be 10. I think it should be 8 because the 3 is the daily bonus and 1-1 one, one was the shinoverts. So I think they will, will be doubled. So 3 and 3 is 4 plus 3, 7, 8. I don't know. Let me know guys. I think it should be 10 or 8, I guess. So yeah, 300 shinoverts in 30 days. So that's cool. Precaution is uh, if you summon on voltage banner, then if you do one more summoning, then you will cost shinoverts. Yeah, we know that. And this one is the trap banner. So it is a guaranteed ultimate, but not a guaranteed fixed ultimate. You can get anybody's ultimate. So that is not a good thing. So don't spend your shinoverts here. Instead, summon on Rin. Yeah, she is a pretty good character. Let me tell you. So yeah, as usual, singles and multi. Uh, okay, how to fight with Rin Noara? You can half your ninjutsu cooldown with uh, time with the ultimate jutsu, three tails chakra rampage, and maintain your HP and CP by continuously using the increased jutsu level ninjutsu. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So this is the ultimate impact nature. Tail beast chakra goes wild, causing a large amount of damage and decreasing the enemy's defense. Effect large. Also halves ninjutsu cooldown time for a period of time for all allies on the same floor. Okay. That's cool. That's something new. So if you use our ultimate, you are going to do damage to the enemy as well as decreasing the defense by a large amount. Also, the cooldown on everybody's uh, Jutsus and ultimate Jutsus on the same floor, your allies will be half. So if your ultimate was 60 second, now it will be 30 second cooldown for a period of time. That's to be noted. So okay. Attack with paper bomb kunai. Mad kunai dance throws kunai with an attached paper bomb causing damage and raising the attack of all allies on the same floor. Effect large. So this is the same as Sasuke version 2. Uh, the kunai jutsu he has in the re kit but plus thing is uh, it increases attack power of the allies on the same floor but and effect is large so pretty decent jutsu i would say works as a shotgun probably activate traps and gain the upper hand okay rolling log sends a log rolling forward causing damage and setting off traps great and this is the heal he store HPs of, of ally on the same floor by a medium amount. Cool. And also recovers CP. Okay. Also recovers HP for a period of time for all allies on the same floor. Man, this is some interesting stuff. She will increase the HP by a medium amount. Also recovers CP for all the allies on the same floor. As well as give the continuous HP increase. The Sonade's a uh, new so i had a call so sorry for that uh, so yeah as i was telling this is the same as sonade's four star uh, which removes uh, status elements but this will not remove status element just it will give, will give uh, continuous hp to all the allies as well as increase the hp by medium amount as well as increase the cp so that's cool let's jump into the trial Oh, we forgot to look at the cooldown. Okay, so okay, the range should be good if if they are giving us these barricades. So if I use it from here, whoa, it's probably a full range. It looks like it. it it got all of the walls it's a full range ultimate it looks like it and let's check out the cooldown it's 67 cooldown and what's up with these numbers C 300 cp cost 4000 power and the uh, cooldown time uh, half is 15 second and defense decreases by 85 percent so that's cool very cool actually let us try it one more time on the second stage i think this is uh, almost a full range jutsu if you use it on the center 
it's almost a full range of soup if i use it from here almost yeah so it's the same as uh killer bee's new ultimate the biju hatchback so that's cool okay the kunai three second cooldown all the way and just the power increase and the critical hit rate so let's have a trial of this one Okay, increase attack and she throws like uh, four okay so if you use it from close range then it will probably do, do more damage let me increase my attack first yeah our attack is increased yeah so that's the damage so pretty cool plus thing from Sasuke version 2's kunai that the attack power is increased and also let uh, i have already um, purchased her other two jutsus from the point shop so uh, one was the trap one and other one was the healing so let me just show you what it looks like so i have her two jutsus this one is at level two i got it from the point shop so this one is 4 second cooldown and some power and this one is a healing jutsu uh, at level 2 it does like uh, 860 power so if I am right at level 6 it will probably do 160 more 160 more so 160 times 4 that is 640 more so 4900 maybe uh, I think if I am right it is going to do 1500 uh, HP recover at level 6 and the CP uh, and the timer also goes down so it is going by 1 second so probably at level 6 it would be 6 seconds or 5 seconds 9 8 7 6 yeah 6 seconds and also the CP cost is decreasing by 10 so it will be 100 CP cost so that's cool also the effect amount is also increasing by 0 0.05 0 0.06 maybe at level max level so yeah that's cool let's check out the trap jutsu as well as the heal jutsu so uh, my heal is at level 1 and the trap level is at level 2 so let's see if it enables all the traps or just one okay Okay, the range is small. The range is pretty small. So, I would say probably f 3 or 4 blocks. So, the range is small. As you can see. But oh, it's okay, I guess. And it's uh, if there are traps continuously, then it would uh, remove all the traps. Now, let's check out the CPs. 100 okay okay the heal is pretty decent if i must say so guys that was it and the, here are also the limited time achievements so just keep on playing the uh, roundup mission and uh, get get some what they call broken mask and purchase some cool stuff from the point shop so yeah so that was it guys hope you guys like the video uh, if you did drop down a like and comment and if you are new to the channel do subscribe until then sayonara